The police have made a major breakthrough in the multi-million dollar robbery of a group of beryllium security guards in Kingston three weeks ago. And as at the time, the investigators have laid charges against a suspect in the case. 27-year-old O'Neill Richards, a resident of Bray Street in Kingston, has been charged with robbery, illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition, and receiving stolen property. The $22 million heist took place along Jackson Road in Rollington Town. It was reported that around midday on June 8, the guards stopped to carry out repairs on the vehicle transporting the cash when another vehicle drove up and two men alighted with guns. The guards told investigators that they ran in different directions, leaving behind the cash. The gunmen took the money and escaped. The four guards were not harmed. The country's waste collection program took yet another hit after a garbage compactor truck was significantly damaged on Saturday. The truck overturned into the Bogwalk Gorge in St. Catharines sometime after 9 Saturday night. Five persons were aboard the unit, including the driver, when the truck careened into the river. We don't, we don't have trucks. Um, Everybody knows the challenge we have with chronic shortage of trucks and to lose one of our newer trucks uh, in this accident is just something that, you know, you just don't want to even hear about. You don't want to see happen. But it happens and it's an accident that we have to appreciate, first of all, the, 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 the fact that none of our crew members were seriously injured. Um, there are minor injuries, of course. The crew members were rescued by drivers in the community. It is still not clear what led to the crash. The NSWMA boss said the team was en route to Linsett St. Catherine tonight for nighttime garbage collection. We do night collections in most of our town centers. And especially with the chronic shortage of trucks, we juggle at night to try and see how best we can cover most of our town centers. Walk Gorge was reopened to vehicular traffic Sunday afternoon following hours of work by emergency crews. They, remo they, they removed the unit from the rear cobra.